Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Free Fallen by Tom Petty. It's a very easy song. It's only got three chords and they repeat the whole time and none of them are barred. They're all open chords. They're really simple. So, great beginner song. So let's get started with the chords that we're going to need to know. First of all, we've got D. So D is going to be your first finger goes on the third string second fret. Then your second finger is going to go right below it on the first string second fret and then your third finger goes in between them on the second string third fret. This chord is only going to use four of the strings, so just the bottom four. Okay, the next chord all we have to do is add on the pinky. We could take the second finger off if we want, but I would not recommend it. So just leave that down and then just add your pinky down to the uh, first string third fret. Or yeah, first string third fret. So we had D and then we have D suspended four. And then the last chord we're gonna do is A suspended four. So that's gonna be the first finger on the first uh, or the second fret fourth string the second finger on the second fret third string and the third finger on the second f or the second string third fret so it's like an A but that third finger gets to slide up to the third fret right there and this one's gonna have five strings played so once again just like an A but the third finger is on the third fret so let's go over the rhythm now so I like to count this in fours even though the it's kind of got a different grouping than that, it's kind of you kind of count want to count it in threes. I prefer to count it in fours. Um, so let me just show you the way I count it. So we're gonna start with D, and it's gonna get three beats. So one, two, three, and then the next beat I'm gonna count is actually a four rather than a one. So it might throw you off a little bit, but um, that's the way I like to count it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the way I count it. One, two, three on the D, and then four, one, two, three, four on the D suspended four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then after that part, the chords are going to switch a little bit faster, but they're easy switches, so don't worry too much. So we're going to hit that D suspended one more time for the first beat. And then for the second beat, we're going to just take that pinky off and go to D. Two, three, so that's going to get the second and third beats, and then we go to the A suspended four, and that's going to get um, four, one, two, three, four again. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's, you know, pretty much the entire song. That's really the intro. After that, the the rhythms tend to build and the strum patterns are a little bit more interesting. Um, but that's kind of more of a, of a subjective thing, excuse me. Um, so you can kind of make up your own chord strumming patterns. Um, but just for an example, the one I like to do would be like a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So I'll do that a little bit slower for you. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. So that's what I do, but there's a million different ways to do it. You could just do like a down, 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 down. You can really just make it your own, but yeah, I like to do the down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'd be glad to help you out. Have a good one.